What is up guys? What can you do with 200 bucks? Well, we're gonna see on Calm Seas. So doing a new series here, we're back. Gonna put some money on Calm C, put on 200 bucks, gonna buy some cards and see how it goes. Gonna do all flips on Calm C. So normally I buy on Calm C and I send it to eBay and that's how I, I do a lot of my flipping. And it's worked really well, but I'm gonna try on Calm C because you know, I know not everyone has thousands of dollars to buy cards and to start off. So if you can start off with something small and just get going, that's what we're gonna do. In back in my poker days, you know, this would be called a bankroll builder, you know? So we're trying to build our bankroll. We're gonna start with 200 bucks, see how far we can get. Um, we're gonna get into it. Hopefully there's stuff that you can learn along the way. I'm gonna give you some tips. I'm gonna show you what I'm buying. And then as the series progresses, we'll see how I do. Maybe we'll win, maybe we'll fail. I don't know. I, I don't do a lot of this, so I'm hoping that I can make it work, but I really wanna give it a go of trying to, to really stick to Calm C and do the flipping. I did a little bit of it when I first started, but we're gonna get into it. So with that being said, let's do some flipping. All right, here we go guys, some Com C. If you're not familiar with Com C, Com C is a, a place to, to buy cards, where you can buy cards. Uh, they go into your account, they hold them, and then you can have them shipped home whenever you like. Uh, so I'm not gonna get into that too much, but I'm just gonna show you, I've already set up my account, so this is a brand new account that I set up just for this video series, so my, my uh, for my lapper flips. And so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, our profile and our options. So then you're gonna come in here in the profile and options. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my incoming offers. So I'll leave the minimum offer here at 50 cents. That means I'm accepting offers on anything above 50 cents, but, or, or sorry, 50 cents would be my minimum offer, exactly as it says. Uh, minimum offer percentage. So if you don't want people hammering you with low ball offers, you can change this percentage. So I'm gonna change mine. I'm gonna work off of about, I think 85% is pretty fair, meaning if I buy a card for a dollar, um, the minimum offer I'll, I'll, I'll look at is 85 cents on that dollar. And then obviously if they offer full price, then they're gonna get the item. But this minimal offer is a good way of just cutting down the spam and not having people, you know, you have a $10 card and they're sending you offers of $5. Like typically you're not gonna take that. Maybe you will in some cases, but I'm gonna set mine at 85% for this. Maybe we'll go to 80. I'll put it at 80%, that's fine. Offers are always good. I'm sure there may, there may be some cards that I have that are a little bit higher dollar that maybe, it, you know, if they offer me $8 on a $10 card, maybe I'd take that. So I'll put it at 80, 80% there. Um, outgoing offers, we're gonna use advanced reselling mode. So what this is gonna do is this is really good for, for flipping. So I'm not gonna be charged when I purchase cards. I'm not gonna be charged the 25 cents for the shipping fee. Cause I don't plan on shipping any of these cards. These are all gonna be flips. So it's just gonna, gonna cut that expense. If you wanna know more about that, check it out on the site. Um, and maybe I'll show you as we go through, but I'm gonna go to advanced reseller mode there since this is a flip account. And we're gonna go save changes. I'm gonna make sure that the incoming offers, yeah, 80%, so we're good there. And then we are ready to go from an account perspective, brand new account. We're gonna go ahead and make a deposit here. Make a deposit, I'm just gonna click on store credit. So I'm gonna go custom amount here. I'm gonna go $200. Get a deposit of that, that's what we're gonna work with. That's what we're starting with. I know not everyone obviously has, as I said earlier, not everyone has hundreds and hundreds of dollars. $200 I think is pretty reasonable. Hopefully that's a decent amount of money where I can buy enough cards that I'm gonna have some sales so that this video series doesn't just, it isn't just me and us waiting for sales, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and proceed to go to PayPal checkout. So I've made my payment. I did it through PayPal straight out of my account and I have $200. Now this is the fun part, right? We get to go and buy some cards. So um, I, I'm not gonna obviously have you, you stay with me and I'm not gonna show you all of the cards while I go through them because it, it can take time. But that's, I mean, that's a lot of the fun is going through going through the cards and going through the sets and you learn so much browsing Com C. So it's one of my favorite things to do. So I think this series is gonna be really fun. Hopefully you can learn a bit from it too. Um, 
but I, I'm going to show you a couple things that I look at. So we're going to go ahead and pull up some metal. So I just type in metal and I'm going to go over here on the left hand side. I only want to see hockey for the metal. Um, and we're going to take a look at, let's take a look at these, not a PMG, obviously. These are going to be outside of our budget. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for dollar amounts. I'm sure I'm going to buy some little bit bigger cards, bigger cards being maybe $10 or $15. And then I'm going to target probably a lot of, a lot of what I think are underpriced one to two to three dollar cards. Um, but we're going to look for a base, just a base card here. So here we go. So we're just going to click into a card. So click through the kale. And then what we're able to do is we're able to go on the left hand side. So this is a great way to learn about sets. You have all of the variants in here. Okay. So we got the printing plates, the one ones we got the PMGs that we're checking out. There's the green, there's the, your green auto. Um, if it doesn't have a picture there, it's because Com C hasn't had the card come through. So you don't have to worry too much about that. I really like these purple spectrums, but they're likely going to be very pricey. But here's the thing. L let's say we want to have a look at the purple spectrums. So we got Kale right here. So that's great. But uh, who else is there? So in the top left here, we're going to click the purple spectrum. And we get all of the cards that are purple spectrum right there. Okay, so then we can sort however we like. I'm going to sort by the lowest price. Right here, you can see 99 cents, a dollar four. Well, that would be nice, but this hammer right here, that's an auction. So that's an auction on eBay. You can watch, and if we wanna watch this Austin Matthews, what we can do is we can keep it there and we can go place bid. And at that point, it'll bring us to eBay and we can put it on our watch list or do what we want with it. Um, if it was a card that we wanted to watch. So I won't be able to buy that for a dollar four. But the, so the lowest price card here, we have a Zach Wierenski. Um, let's look for someone who I would really consider buying. I'm likely not going to buy one of these. These are probably too much. And um, we'll get to the base because the base, there's always volume of. So again, I go into any player and in the top left, I'm going to click the base and then we will get all of the base cards in there. Lowest price. I'm going to go by highest price since it's just the base cards. They should be relatively inexpensive. So we got Kirill here at $7.50. We're going to click into him. And in the top left here, you have the four year sales. So they use bars here and these are sorted by the quarter. And this is something that I really want to watch. It'll tell you how quick these cards are moving. So for instance, there's been 65 Kirill sales this quarter. Well, anyways, I'm not sure when the quarter ended, but we've had 65 sales. And you see before that there were 335. There's currently 58 of these on Com C. So Kirill, everyone knows, is moving relatively well. And you know, this is this is a card that I would certainly consider flipping. Um, the problem is, I shouldn't say a problem. I, one of the things that I look for is it's good if you have a discrepancy between the lowest price card. So we have uh, the lowest price card right here, $7.50 and the next cards. So if these were, let's say these were $4 and the next one was eight, I would consider buying both of these and then listing them both at about $7 and 99 cents. I, I want to be the lowest bidder and that would leave a good margin. You know, hundred percent margin is pretty good. And even if I ended up getting rid of it for $7 or $6, I I'm still doing a 50% ROI on that flip. So that's something that I look at. You can also go in here. If we click in the bars, uh, we can see what the past sales have been. So here's the raw. So there have been 308 sales up to a maximum. So the highest point, the highest price the one sold for is $14.63. And that's another thing that, that I want to look at. Just it, it just gives you an idea of the price range that the cards are in. So that's what I look at. I'm going to go through, I'm going to do some browsing, I'm going to do some buying, and I'm going to touch base again after this, and I will show you some of the stuff that I bought, or all the stuff that I bought. Okay, so found something here. I'm just going to show you some of my thought process uh, in purchasing a card. This is the first one I found. So I bumped into this, this uh, 2021 Dylan Cousins uh, Star Sapphires, exact in your mint. 
uh, $4.74. If we take a look at the raw version, so these are the listings for the other blues, okay? They're up at 40 bucks. So in exact to near mint, if we take a look at the card, looks okay. Might have a touch of on the corners there. Might be on the front as well. But I mean, generally looks looks that does that looks a little bit sus. But say la vie. I mean, there's no notes on the card. So at four dollars and seventy four cents, when they're listed at forty dollars. Now remember, what people list them at isn't really relevant. But what if I can get ten dollars for the card? When people go and look for this, they're gonna look at this price. Well, what's he asking? Thirty nine. Well. People will just think, well, maybe $30 is a good price. And then we'll go, so I went and looked on eBay, and we have one listed privately, um, or on eBay, I should say, privately, whatever. These are the Com C listings, so they're at 65. This one's at 49. So if I can buy this at uh, $4.74, I'm gonna take that, like, even if I get 10 bucks, 12 bucks, 14 bucks, I've had, I've had one card uh, which was a Phil Foden that I bought that, that had a condition note and I paid about a quarter of the the raw card price and I ended up getting about 80% of the raw card value. So this guy right here, I'm going to go ahead and buy it now, which leads me to another point or, or one more thing to consider. What I could do is make an option or make an, make an offer. Um, okay, this is in a remote warehouse. It's telling me that. So that means that it's stored in Burnaby, but I'm okay with that. The item's stored remotely. I can still make an offer on it. So if I want to make an offer, um, what I can do is I can go in here and I can see what the minimum offer is. So they're accepting offers of two down to $2.37. The thing with this card is when you find a card and there's only one of them, you don't want to cue someone or let them know that their card may be underpriced. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Like, if they see, if I send an offer for $2.30 and they're like, oh God, the rest of these are, are listed out at $39, they might just bump it up to $18, $20. I've had it happen with cards. So if you find something that you, you think is a deal, um, or where it gives you margin, don't mess around with making offers. I'm gonna go ahead and click buy it now. I'm perfectly comfortable listing this. Maybe I'll list it up at about, you know, $19, under $20, and they'll see mine at $20 and these other ones at 40. We'll see what happens. Um, but just a couple of tips there. So we're gonna go ahead, our first purchase here, click purchase now, and I now own this card. We'll go into my dashboard. And here we go, so my first purchase, Dylan Cousins. I just wanted to show you guys that. I, I, there might be other tips and things that come up as I search and browse, but definitely wanted to show you that. So I'm gonna keep hunting. Okay, found another card here, and I'm gonna go ahead and make an offer on this one. So first of all, it's got some volume. So there's been 18 of these sold in this quarter, which is pretty good considering um, there's only 23 online. So here's what I'm going to do though. See this one's sitting here at $1.33. So I'm going to make an offer on this guy. We're going to use a one cent trick. So he's taken offers up to 126. I'm going to go ahead and make an offer for 126. And I am going to purchase this one for $1.33, but I'm hoping that this guy at seeing the offer for 126 he's going to take a look and see this sitting at 133 he's likely going to accept the offer right if i took this and i bought this dollar 33 card now and then i sent the offer for a dollar 26 he's getting an offer for a dollar 26 and there's a card sitting here at two dollars he might say well no I'm, I'm not going to take that i'm just you know um so this sets a low anchor right um just another tip, another trick. Don't buy this one yet. I don't think anyone's gonna come and scoop it up. I'm gonna leverage off, off this uh, listing right here, put that offer in. I'm likely gonna buy both of these and I'll be able to list them at $1.99 each. And these seem to be moving okay. Actually a pretty nice card there. MVP, I know, but we're just looking to flip. So there's another tip. Hey guys, done the buying. So let's go through my purchases, shall we? Okay, let's take a look here. So we're on our main page. You can see I spent about uh, $78 and I have some offers pending. Offers are a must. 
if you're looking to you know save some shekels make offers it it's a little bit tedious takes time but you know i've already had some offers that i sent this afternoon go through and i have some of those but let's take a look at what i bought so the first one that i bought is the dylan cousins blue sapphire so this was exact to near mint or excellent or whatever that grade is excellent to near mint i suppose um we got that for four dollars and 74 cents uh, I bought a couple of Kirills here. I'll show you the the cousin. So that's the blue sapphires, blue variant. Here's a, a Kirill Kaprizov. So I got both of these. Um, if we go in and look at the card, we just click right there. I have one listed right now. I bought it for a dollar ten, and I got it listed here for four dollars ninety five cents. So we'll see. It'd be a nice little flip right there. Uh, we got a, another season highlights of Kirill Kaprizov, 274. So we got it up to 369. That's the thing when you're doing low dollar flips, like you got to grind for a bit, you know. So I'm actually thinking this is going to be harder than I initially thought it would be. Some of the some of my eBay eBay sales that I make, I'm not sure that they're going to translate so well on ComC. But here, but we're going to learn together. We're, we're going to see. I'm going to see how it goes. You'll see how it goes, and uh, we'll just keep grinding and, and see what we can do. I, I know I can make it work. I just it's it's a matter of learning. Um, so we got a Connor McDavid net deposits. Can't go wrong buying any McDavid's. 85 cents. Grab that one for. So we got a dollar forty-two, two at a dollar forty-two right here. I don't actually like doing this. Usually I like having one lower and one higher, but I'll worry about that later. So we got a couple Connor McDavid net deposits. Um, we got a Seth Jarvis local boy here in Winnipeg. Very good hockey player, looking good in the playoffs there for Carolina. Uh, got it for two dollars and sixty-nine cents. Have it listed for three ninety-nine. This is just a nice color match. These have done well on eBay, so I'll give this a whirl. Got it for $2.10, and we got it listed for $3.49. So I chose on this card not to be the, the lowest um, the lowest price card, and that's okay. It's gonna, It might you know take longer to sell, but I'm just going to leave it there for the time being, and, and I will go through this on occasion and just take a look at pricing, see who tries to undercut me, and, you know, whatever. We got to just watch and pay attention you have to and that's what i mean some people don't they have thousands and thousands of cards so there's deals out here there's five dollar cards that'll go quick for 20 bucks you just got to find them so lots of cards out here and that's what that's what we're trying to do got a laffy here 391 listed for i picked that up for 267 so another small one uh, another Kirill. i think yeah that's one so i got that up at uh 13 and 60 cents i misclicked there got it for two bucks Got it for thirteen sixty. Connor McDavid's up at like fifteen, and again, these are just asking prices, but that would be a good one there. Another Kirill. These are base OPG nine forty three. I got this card for three ninety five. Again, can't go wrong with McDavid. Got some rainbows here. Ended up buying two, so paid six eighty three. We got them at nine seventy four, and then I got another one up here at twelve ninety nine. You can see. Uh, Miro Retro Blue. I don't think I listed this one as the lowest either. We'll have a look. 328. Yeah, I did. And we got it up at 673. I think a really good price for that card. We got Ty Delandria. So $4.97. Got that for 316. Small margin there here. Are these, these net magnet mosaics. These are really great cards. The mosaics. If you don't know, now you know. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not gonna go off on them, but this Johnny Goudreau we got for nine beans, I believe. Yeah, nine beans, and we got it listed up at 24, which I, th I 23 dollars 24 cents, which I think is a really good, like, fair price for that card. To be honest, nine dollars. I think I think I stole that. So we'll go to the last page here. Um, weird card here, Austin Matthews upper deck, a Canadian Tire card. Not sure. Dollar seventy. Um, got it up at 248 lowest card there here's another mosaic another what i think was underpriced casey middlestat at 455 got it listed at 799 so remember this is what i i talked about this afternoon with uh, connor mcdavid's and it worked out absolutely perfectly so there was a lower price card i made an offer the guy accepted it because he saw the lower price one i got that and then i bought the lower priced one so i do have three of the oh no i have two of these so i do have both of those and I got one listed here at $1.99, which would be nice to just sort of liquidate, get some cash back after buying for $1.26. But the next one, we got higher. Cole Lind, I talked about him in a video. 
you know, looked really good uh, in the video highlights that I've watched. This year was playing in Seattle and got them for $2.60, $2.79. And, um, you know, there's one here at $3.99. I would like to buy this one to get it out of the way, but then sometimes people just drive the price down. You got to be careful of that. Like, well, I could buy this one and get it out of the way. Then we set the price at $5.49. But then sometimes if this guy has 30 of them sitting in his in his stash, he might just put it back at $3.99 to sell it. So I'm going to hold tight here at $5.49, see what happens with Cole Lind, and I got a second one too. So took a shot on him. Another Kirill because this one I just bought a few minutes ago. I wanted to clear it out. I'm the only one listed. This one was sitting here, and it was holding the price down. As you can see, it was sitting at $1.94. I wanted to get it out of the way. I keep misclicking, I apologize. I wanted to get it out of the way at $1.94 so that I could list it a little bit higher up at five bucks. So I, I bought that one up. Got a Connor McDavid base OPG here. Got it for 75 cents and uh, yeah, got it here, $1.37 listed for. Nazem Kadri, this is a really small play. Really nice card though, these Fleer Showcase. Fleer Showcase reds, red glows. Got it for six cents and I got it listed for a whole 14 cents so that would be a gooder that would be a gooder uh, Connor McDavid same sort of thing but obviously Connor's more expensive so this one we got for 255 uh, or sorry this Leon Dreisaitl not Connor McDavid it's hard to tell them apart right um, you got it listed for 403 after paying two dollars and 55 cents so that's the start that's what I got I want to hold my cash for a bit this isn't a great time to buy at the end of the season like everything's these especially lower dollar cards will drive down over the summer as the whole market will like most cards are going to your rookies will hold more value but this is what I got to start with I want to make sure I have cash on hand so I can buy some young guns and stuff that's a little bit more liquid I'm sure I will buy a couple of cards that I think are underpriced um, speculate on those and hope they turn out like a Troy Terry which would be you know really huge for me they're gonna be out there those opportunities are there watch the channel and I'll point some of them out I did pretty good last year I think I was pretty happy and I hope you guys did well too but that's it guys thanks for watching check you